Welcome back, guys, to another episode right here at Central Oregon Shenanigans is what you're watching. Today, we have an auction truck. Yes, I did not film this one for you going and getting it because I wasn't there. My son and papa went and got it. I sent them with this GoPro and nothing got filmed. Go figure. So, what we're looking at is a... 2001 Ford F-150 Super Crew. You guys remember the commercials from the 90s or the early 2000s when these came out. This was a big deal because Ford had never made. Uh, maybe in the 70s they made a half ton crew cab, but I don't think so. I know Ford Centurion, the Centurion Company took some of the F-150s in the 90s and made some, but this was technically, I think, in a long time, if that Ford made a, the crew cab in 2000. It started in 2000 or 2001, I can't remember. But these were really popular uh, when they first came out, but then they weren't pop popular after everybody started finding out that the beds were fiberglass on these and they weren't very large. So with that being said, um, we got this one off the auction with a clean title, high mileage 262 but it runs like hot garbage and today we're going to be doing a full tune-up well today tomorrow we're going to start it tonight it's really hot it's um 92 outside and 88 in the shop and we do not have a puppy thermometer anymore it had a catastrophic uh, failure so it's gone so um i'm gonna dive into the hard side first the passenger side on these 5.4s, this is a 5.4 2V motor, not a 3V. The 5.4 2V motors, this side's pretty easy to get to. Yes, it sucks, but it's it's pretty easy. This side is difficult. You got to remove the air intake to make just extra room. Some lot some vacuum lines. Um, I guess these aren't vacuum lines. These are actually uh, regurgitation lines. Um, the power steering bracket or the re reservoir bracket here, um, and then the fuel rail's got to be unbolted. Um, let me bring you back in when I get some of this stuff out of my way. But uh, what we're going to be doing today is coils and spark plugs. Alrighty, guys. So on these five fours, there are eight coils, eight spark plugs, and we're on number five, I do believe, right now. So what I'm Got the air intake off and I got the bracket for that reservoir off. This is a seven millimeter socket I'm using. We already broke it loose off camera and I'm just spinning with my fingers. I'm gonna go ahead and unclip the wiring harness, maybe. And then you're just gonna pull straight up on the coil and don't lose your, I keep my finger on the, the bolt. Okay, as you can see, those coils are old. These use the 5.8 socket for the spark plug and a 6 inch. Actually, I'm going to go go with the longer one. You're going to stick it where the right down the hole. Right in there. Um, let me get a flashlight. This is in pretty good shape for how many miles are on it, guys. Um, right down like that. Okay, these are sunk down in the head pretty far. And you don't have to worry about this does not have the two-piece spark plugs and do not use auto lights motorcraft or NGKs okay just... now these are these do have a tendency to blow spark plugs that is this motor we're working on right now you that's what I was afraid of and how much you want to bet the reason it runs like crap Auto light junk. All right, so I'm gonna go get my Amazon package at the gate. And we're gonna go back in with some new spark plugs and new coils. All right, my wife ordered something and I just ripped into my package. I've got eight brand new Motocraft spark plugs and non Motocraft coils. You know, guys, I know I always always preach about going back together with motorcraft parts on these Fords but guess what the budget did not call for it on this one unfortunately and I just need it to run good enough for who it's for because we will be selling this 
and these should do good. These have a really good review on Amazon. Um, there was over 300 reviews on these coils and every, it was like 4.7 stars. So I'm, I'm convinced that these will be good enough. So it's got to be better than what we have, right? So let me get this first one installed and I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, also when I go back in, I'm not going to film going back in with the spark plug. Um, but what we're going to do, I've got one already out on the bench I have from another tune-up. I take anti-seize and I anti-seize on the 5.4 Tritons all the way around on these threads. Um, don't want to get it on the spark plug itself, but you want to get it on the threads just enough to... to, in, to and then we're going to torque these in. I think... Um, I'm not going to tell you what, the, what it is. You're going to have to find it yourself. I don't want to be held reliable for stripping anything out. So with that being said, these are aluminum heads and um, yeah, you'll have to do your due diligence on looking up what the torque these spark plugs do. All right, I'm putting back on the air cleaner right now, hooking up tubes. This side's done. I'm not gonna need any of that stuff disassembled for this side. Um, that wasn't horrible. I had to recommend tuck, tackle the hard side first, get it out of the way. These don't thread in very far. Like it doesn't take much to get these out. That's why they had that problem. We got oil down that hole. I don't know what that's all about. Not in the actual spark plug hole though. It's dry. Just maybe somebody's topping up the oil and get wet down there. That's what it looks like, guys. Maybe no, no valve cover leak. Pretty dry. New spark plug. We go. Always finger tight and then get the ratchet, then get the torque wrench and we're not gonna show that part. Maybe it's just the good and tights. Come on, coil. Okay, we'll pull the bolt. Leave it around in there. There she goes. V valves in the way. Get the next one. Oh, yeah. How far did I send it? All the way. <laughs> she got limited slip differential i think guys dude this thing this thing runs good now it was that back cylinder that was fouled out yeah she's got limited slip she done burn out she done burn out in the shop she's the first one all right guys highly recommend if your triton 5.4 is running like garbage to do all eight coils and spark plugs motorcraft this kit if I remember, I will link it. I got to do some door panel shenanigans, guys. But this truck, pretty clean. Pretty clean old gal. She can be yours. Um, drop a message in the description or in the comments below. Um, the clean title, high mileage, new tires. Nice new Meadies tires. I just took a little bit of life off the back ones. 
King Ranch wheels, XLT, AC works, fix the AC. We're fixing the door panel to a point. We can't find another one, so we're gonna, we had to get in there to fix the regu uh, the regulator for the window, so it's fixed. So the window's working. A um, Little bit of paint uh, flake off the, the clear. Uh, yeah. Email me, centralorganshenanigans at gmail.com. If you're super interested in this pickup, it will have license plates for Oregon. We have to clean some title work up. This will be available in a couple weeks. But yeah, 100% success. Uh, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Comments, like I said, they go down below. Don't use auto lights, and we'll see you on the next video.